Hello everyone, thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we will learn how we can able to do pan sharpening in ArcGIS. So here if you will see, this is the image. You can able to see this image is having a resolution of 30 meter into 30 meter. Okay, so after that we did a pan sharpening and from that you can able to see the resolution it changes to 50 meter into 50 meter. So how to convert this 30 meter into 30 meter cell size into 50 meter into 50 meter here if you will see the difference between both the images so in the 30 meter this is the band composite image 30 meter you can able to see we cannot able to identify properly built up area but after having this 50 meter into 50 meter you can able to see the little bit higher resolution image so how to convert this 30 meter how to convert this 30 meter image into 50 meter that we'll see how we can able to do high resolution image from this landsat 8 data so as we know that there is a uh, Landsat data we can able to download from the UHS Earth Explorer. So after downloading this data set, you will get these bands. So how to download this, I have shown in previous videos, how to download this, we can able to check. After the downloading data set, you will see the Landsat 8 data set having a total L1 band in it. So from 1 to 7, band 1 to 7, you will able to see this is a 30 meter resolution data set. Okay, 30 meter resolution data set. And band 8 is having a 15 meter resolution data set. So we'll use this 15 meter data set to convert this 30 meter data set into 15 meter data set. So how to do that? We can do that by using the pan sharpening methods. So what is actually pan sharpening is the process of merging high resolution pan chromatic and low resolution multispectral image to create a single high resolution color, color image. So Google Maps and nearly every map creating company use this technique to increase image quality. So we need to increase this image quality. So for that, what we can able to do, I have downloaded this Landsat 8 data set and I have, I have this all the bands, band 1, 2, band uh, 7, band 8. So if I'll uncheck this, I have added these bands. So here, if I'll see the band one resolution of this band one data set. So this is the, here you can able to check. So this is the 30 meter. Okay. So this is the 30 meter and our band eight image. So band eight image is 15 meter resolution. Okay. 15 meter. So what we can able to do, we'll create a band composite of this first. Okay. So this one, two, one to seven bands are there we're going to create first a band composite to create a band composite we need to go data management tool in the data management tool there is a tool that is a raster in the raster there is a raster processing in the raster processing there is a band composite so i'll click on the band composite and from here i will add this one to seven band band one then band two band three band 4, band 5, band 6 and band 7. So 1 to 7 bands I have added. After that, I will choose a folder where I want to save this data set. I will create a new folder here. That is a pan sharp okay. In this folder, I will save by the name of band composite. So this way we can able to create a band composite after creating a band composite what we'll do we will use this band 8 to for the pan sharpening So my band composite image is now ready. After that, what we'll do, we'll go to our toolbox. In the our toolbox, same tool, that is data management tool, raster and raster processing, there is tool that is a pan sharpening. Okay, this tool we are going to use. Before that, we can able to change the band composite here. That is a five, four, three, apply and okay. So after that, I will go to the create a pan sharpening raster data set. In the raster data set, there is an input raster data set option is there. So 
here i will add a band composite after adding a band composite it by default it will take whatever the band composite we have selected and output raster data set option is there so here i will provide a pan chart so i will write here as a pan sharp tiff and this is the pan chromatic image option is there the pan chromatic i will choose this landsat 8 data set so this is the landsat 8 which is having a 50 meter resolution we have seen previously and after that i will click on okay so now pan sharpening image is created here so if you see this the difference between both the images so this is the band composite image having a resolution of 30 meters and this is our pan chromatic image 50 meter into 50 meter so you can able to see the difference between both the images so here in the 30 meter we can able to see only pixels but here we can able to see clearly this built up area so this way we can able to do increase the image quality by using this pan sharpening tool